There has been a terror attack. He was speeding on the pavement and he was knocking off people walking by. We just heard a bang and then we just saw three people in the road. From the CBS4 newsroom and live in the British capital. We saw the car plowed into a lady. Must have been about 10, 10, bo- 10 bodies. 10, yeah, 12 all bodies. Shot. The location of this attack was no accident. The terrorists tro- chose to strike at the heart of our capital city. Team coverage now of the terror attack in London. Four innocent people and the suspected terrorists are dead. Another 40 are hurt. And tonight, investigators are saying this attack was inspired by radical Islamic extremism. And whoever was responsible for this picked one of the most iconic locations in the world, a city and spot I know well from my years as a London foreign correspondent. There are postcard-ready landmarks everywhere you look. There's Big Ben, the Houses of Parliament, the River Thames, the London Eye, which is one of the newest additions in the scene there. And of course, this the Westminster Bridge, bustling with people in the middle of the afternoon, tourists, law enforcement, workers, they all became targets today when a man drove terror right into the heart of the UK capital. It took only seconds for the car speeding along the sidewalk to leave a trail of broken and bleeding bodies strewn across one of London's busiest bridges. Watch this close circuit video footage. We've highlighted the assailant's car. You can see someone falling off the bridge, either jumping to get out of the way or getting knocked off. This couple visiting from India watched the entire thing unfold. He was speeding on the pavement and he was knocking off people walking by. So like there was a big sound one after the other. One victim flung under a bus, another lying still in the middle of the road, surrounded by shocked bystanders. I immediately told my wife that this is an attack. It's a terrorist attack. Yeah, he was. There was. He was just going on and on. He didn't stop. Seconds later, he would stop when his car crashed into the railings around Parliament, setting off a panicked rush. In the chaos, shots rang out. It turned out the driver had shoved past security into the Parliament grounds, fatally stabbing a police officer now identified as Keith Palmer, a 48-year-old husband and father. Not long after Officer Palmer was attacked, another policeman shot and killed the assailant. We've lost one of our own as he acted to protect the public and his colleagues. This is a day we planned for, but we hope would never happen. Sadly, it's now a reality. The location of this attack was no accident. The terrorists tro- chose to strike at the heart of our capital city where people of all nationalities, religions and cultures come together to celebrate the values of liberty, democracy and freedom of speech. Police say a full terror investigation is underway, the most serious attack in London since the deadly subway bombings of 2005. And we can-